Well, I guess I, I wouldn't use the term stretched, but all right. So taking a step back, you look at uh, the NASDAQ 100. So we said, all right, it's the end for large cap growth. These stocks are done. Nobody wants anything to do with them. Um, now you have 85 percent of the NASDAQ 100 back above the 200 day, which is phenomenal, like in any market environment. And that number was under 60 percent just a couple of weeks ago. So that entire narrative you can now throw in the garbage. Take a look at Facebook, Microsoft, Google making new highs. Amazon's coming back. It's up like 75 points today. Heavy drip in Amazon. Uh, Apple's busting loose out of a prior range. NVIDIA and some of the large cap chip names are running. So that whole narrative is gone. And now large cap growth, specifically tech communications, helping the averages at least maintain where they've gotten to. And then you look at the S&P. 95% of S&P 500 stocks are now above their uh, their 200-day moving average. And most of those 200-day MAs are rising 200-day MAs. And that is insane in terms of participation in a bull market. Now, depending on what and who you are, there are two ways to interpret that. One way is to say it's Goldilocks. It's as good as it gets. Take some off the table. It can't be this good for too long. I think that's reasonable. But another way to look at that is, really, that's the type of market you want to be short? Like, seriously? What, what, like, what's wrong with you almost? So that's kind of where I am is right in the middle. I can understand the push and pull at these levels. But my, my instinct tells me this thing's got higher to go, even if we have to correct in the short term. So that's where I am emotionally, Wilf. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.